everyone. Today, we would like to introduce our seminar work for you. My name is Wang Xinjie, and my teammates are Zhao Linlu, Huang Duolin, and Wu Wenqing. And our topic is Monte Carlo Methods for Pricing Exotic Options. Well, you know, this topic is related to the last chapter that we learned on the class, Stochastic Process. Because under the efficient market hypothesis, the price of a stock is just like the random walk. And the paths we simulate are discrete time stochastic process. Well, don't worry, we will go into more detail. So here is the content of our presentation. Firstly, let me introduce exotic option and the way we price an exotic option. Secondly, Zhao Linlu will tell you how to simulate the path of underlying assets. And then, Wu Wenqing and Wang Duolin will help us figure out the payoffs of exotic options. Finally, I will wrap all of them up to give you the results and more insights. Now, let's come to the first part. So, what is an exotic option? You can see the definition here. An exotic option is an option that differs in structure from the more common American options or European options in terms of the underlying assets or the calculation of how or when the investor receives a certain payoff. Exotic options are generally more complex than plain vanilla, call and blue options. Well, uh, in a word, the differences between an exotic option and a common option are the roots. I mean that an exotic option may redefine the strike price or use another way to find out market value, etc. Later, my teammates will show this to you, and the four options we are going to price today are barrier option, leader option, average rate option, and look back option. Next, how to price an exotic option? As you can see here, are three major parts. The first is simulating the underlying assets. The second is finding the payoff of the derivatives. And the third is computing the current price of the derivatives. For simulating the underlying assets, which are stocks in our cases, we need to use the black show setting and simulate it with the help of Monte Carlo methods on computer. After that, we figure out the payoff of the derivatives according to different optional rules for different exotic options. Finally, with the Martingale pricing of derivatives, we can calculate the current price of the options from their payoffs. So, that's all about the introduction. Now let's come to the second part. The second part would be the introduction of the mathematical method of simulating the paths of exotic options. With the help of MATLAB to carry out Monte Carlo results, which simulates the stochastic process. We first have a look at the black shores function, which gives us the logarithmic dynamic stock price related to the interest rate, the volatility of the stock, and the white noise. Here, ST represents the discrete time price of a stock at time t. R denotes the constant risk free interest rate per period. Sigma is the volatility of the stock and this epsilon represents a standard normal white noise. Now, let's start to learn more specific calculation steps, including MATLAB programming. First, we need to simulate a 1000 by 250 random matrix of standard normal random variables to obtain the path of which represents a white noise that we have mentioned before. Delta T is equal to the time, which is usually one year divided by the number of observations. Second, to multiply the random matrix from step 1 by sigma times the square root of delta T 
and add another item in Blackshaw's function to it. We successfully simulate the logarithmic price of stocks at each certain time t. The third step is to compute the cumulative sum of the resulting matrix with respect to its columns to simulate the stochastic process of price change and we could get a final result of this stochastic simulating. At last, add together with the logarithmic initial price of stocks and then apply exponential function to every element of the matrix. We then get the final stock price. By using this final stock price running the MATLAB, we now could calculate the payoff of each stock so as to obtain the prices of derivatives. Okay, now it's time to move on. We will then talk about four specific exotic op options pricing in detail. We first start with the barrier option. Now let's discuss four exotic options in details. The first one is barrier option compared to vanilla options. This one said barriers additionally. Option can be a knockout, meaning it expires worthless if the underlying set a certain price. It can also be locked in, meaning it has no value until the underlying reaches a certain price. The plot on the right side of these slides indicate examples of the lockout option and the lock in option. The dotted line means no value. In our paper, we mainly discuss about the lockout one, which has a more reasonable mechanism, which is limiting profits for the holder, but limiting the losses for the writer. Given the feature of the lockout barrier, we program in these lines. In each simulation, we have 250 steps, which means 250 days, and each day we judge whether the price of that day exceeds the barrier. If no, we continue to the next day. If yes, we set the payoff equals to zero and end the program. We also judge the final market price on the last day. If it is above the striking price for the pool option or below the striking price for the call option, we also set the payoff equals to zero. The picture on the left side is a graph of the Monte Carlo simulation for a put knockout barrier option. Now it comes to the latter option, which shares some similarities with the former one. This option locks in partial profits once the underlying reaches predetermined price levels. Here comes the examples. Let's look at the right side of the slide. There are four price paths and three rounds of the ladders, which are 12, 16, and 20. The dark brown price path reaches the highest ladder. Although the price drops to below the lowest ladder, the owner of the price can still earn a profit using the price of the highest rounds, which is 18, to detect the striking price we set equals to the starting price as 10, so the payoff will be 8. The light brown path and the orange path 3 are similar to path 1. The yellow path 4 reaches its lowest rounds and keeps in the zone between the lowest and the middle rounds of the ladder without reaching the middle one. So, the owner of the price will only earn a profit using the price of the lowest ladder, which is 12, to detect the strike price, and the payoff will be 2. Besides, when the price doesn't reach any ladder, the carryout price will be the same as the mark final market price. So, now I look back to the left side, it is easy to understand that we program in this way to get a carryout price according to the rounds of the ladders. Finally, the picture is a graph of the Monte Carlo simulations for the call ledger option. Now let's come to another two kinds of exotic options, the average rate option and the look back option. To begin with the average rate option, it is a type of exotic option that used to hedge against fluctuations in exchange rate by averaging the spot price over the life of the option and using that value as the option's strike price. The average process requires one different step when determining the price of average option for programming. Let's see steps in detail. First, 
to simulate the price path, just as the other option. Second, collect all the spot price for each path. Third, get the average of each price path as the strike price. Finally, the payoff will be the difference between the final market value and the strike price. Consequently, we have the code as follows. The simulation result will be like this. Our final option is the look back option, which allows the holder taking the advantage of knowing history and exercise their option at the most advantageous price. Of course, advantages comes at a cost. The reduced risk increases the price of look-back options. To determine the price for look-back option, we need following steps. First, simulate the price path. Second, get the most advantageous price. What will be the most advantageous price depends on if the option is a call option or a put option. The look back call option is looking back to the highest price and the look back put option is look back to the lowest price. The payoff calculation is different with the average rate option. It will be equal to the difference between the strike price and the starting price. Given this feature, we program the lookback option in this way. Especially is here. The simulation result shows followed. For all the four options, the final step be before getting the price is to calculate the average present value. Theoretically, we use this formula by two steps. Step 1, we calculate the present value of payoff for each path. And step 2, we get the mean of the present value as the price for the option. Programming code is as simple as the following. Until now, the part about the four kinds of exotic options comes to an end. Let's move to the final part. Well, let me summarize all above. Here are the prices we got from MATLAB. We will find the prices of the options are just related to their characteristics. The look-back option can get high the price because of the huge profit margins. Similarly, later option can hold the profit and that's why it has high price. Besides, for average rate option, just as the name implies, it gets modest return and turn to modest price. As for up and out barrier option, because the barriers only let those more flat stocks valuable, it gets modest return and modest price. Though our calculation is reasonable, there are still several disadvantages. You know, the price of the stock may lead by a big trend or closely relate to the performance of a certain firm. So the price of it is possibly not random walk in reality. Besides, the preset data we used, like Volatility, risk-free rate, etc. may change a lot in a certain condition. And here are also some advantages. I think this method provides the managers a way to predict the prices and helps them make decisions. Finally, it is really easy to run a program and get the result. Don't you think so? So that's all. Thank you so much. Wish you have a nice day.